Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BSP Solutions. BSP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to do mass updates in a record without using any script. See, many times the client can ask that, uh, that uh, the client wants to update the location on all the records. Now, at that case, there are two, uh, two ways. One is the scripting mass update, updation script. Another way is the CSV script. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSV script, how to upload the CSV script in such a way that it will update all the data. So let's see. For example, Look at this. This is a sales order forms list. This is our data, right? Now, now you can see here warehouse location are different, different, right? Now, suppose if I want to make the warehouse location like Japan only for every uh, record, the warehouse location should be the same. So in this uh, procedure, what I will do one way is our uh, scripting way. I have already uh, created a video on that mass updation script, but I will change it with the help of CSV. First of all, we will download this CSV first. In this way, we will get the internal ID of each record. Look at this internal ID of each record. Then the warehouse location will be same. Now what we will do, just save it in the form of CSV. Now we will go to the setup. import export save the csv imports now for this i have already created one profile warehouse location update i will go here i will select that file particular file Here is sales order form list 78. This is the list that we have just changed. After that, next, here we will use update and here we will use the comma because it's a CSV. Then we will go next. Now here you can see the mapping is already done. From here, internal ID is mapped with sales order form internal ID. It is the internal ID where it is. This is the internal ID already mapped. Warehouse location is mapped with sales order warehouse location. Here is the warehouse location. Now look at this. There are right now different, different locations. China, North Korea, South Korea. Now, once I upload this. Here, if you want to uh, change the name of that profile, you can change it. Otherwise, keep it as it is and then save and run. Okay. Import job status. It is under progress. I will refresh it again. 13 of 13 records are imported successfully. Now see, this is before refresh. Now I'm going to refresh this. Look at this warehouse location, all Japan. That means it is not necessary that each time everywhere you can use script only. Many things can be done with the help of CSV uploads. So I recommend you to explore it more and more. For example, let me show you one more example. I have selected this. Come to next. Update is okay. Now warehouse location is what we have given here, right? Now, if you want to set value to null, otherwise no problem. Otherwise you can set a default value also. For example, 
थाईलैंड ओके आई हैव गिवन अ फिक्स्ड डेटा नेक्स्ट सेव एंड रन Thirteen of thirteen record imported successfully. Previously, we have done it as Japan. Now I will refresh it, and it becomes Thailand. So I recommend you to explore it. There are so many uh, things that you can do it with the help of CSV upload. So this is how most of the things or mass updations can be done with the help of CSV upload. So this is another most important. Uh, thing that we can do with the help of csv so guys keep practice this and if you have any doubt you can uh, write down in the comment box i will resolve your queries thanks for watching my video and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel you will find more and more videos on my channel related to scripting thank you thanks for watching